Let's take a look at the following problem. We want to prove that the cycle on n vertices is bipartite if and only if n is even. Now as soon as we see an if and only if symbol inside of a statement, we know that in order to prove it we will have to do two separate steps. So one thing we're going to have to do is prove that if the cycle is bipartite, then n is even. And we will also have to prove that if n is even, the cycle on that many vertices is bipartite. So the easiest direction is that direction, supposing that n is even. So let's actually write down this because we're proving this portion of the statement. We are proving, um, want to prove, we want to prove that if n is even, then the cycle on n vertices is bipartite. So let's go ahead and prove that portion and then later we'll look at the other portion. So let's say n is even. Suppose n is even. n is even. We can label the vertices of the cycle as maybe let's label them as zero as a uh, vertex one, two, three, and we just keep going until we get to n. So those are n vertices. And we could actually think of a little picture right now. So here we have vertex one, then vertex two, then vertex three, and this notation means that subsequent vertices are adjacent in the cycle. And we keep continuing along vertex four, and we continue to do this till we get to vertex n minus one, and finally we get to vertex n, and all of these are adjacent in this cycle, in this ordering. Okay, so this is our cycle on n vertices, where n is even. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use that technique we saw in a previous video, which was saying that if we can choose any vertex and color it with one of the colors, we'll take two colors. So let's use color blue and yellow. Those will be our two colors. And we just choose any vertex, and really along the cycle the, all the vertices look the same. So I could just start with vertex 1 right here. And I'm going to color it with the first color. The next step is to look at the neighbors of that vertex and color them with the opposite color. So that's coloring these guys with yellow. Next step is to repeat that on, an, on one of the next vertices that has been colored. So I take a look at vertex 2. It's being colored with color yellow and all of its neighbors should get the color that is opposite to yellow. In this case it's blue. So that already worked for vertex 1 which means 3 gets color blue. And similarly for vertex n, I'll know that vertex n minus 1 needs to be colored blue. And I continue in this way and because n is even, I know I'm not going to run into any problems. If you look at the coloring that is being formed right now, we start with color blue on vertex 1, which is an odd vertex. So really what we've done is we've said that x is the set of vertices i such that i is odd. And I'm writing it in blue because we've literally colored them blue. And then y is the set of vertices i such that i is even. And it should be clear that you can alternate blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, and you're going to end up blue, yellow because yellow lands on an even vertex and n is even. So that's why you know that vertex n does in fact belong to the set y. And now you can really think of your cycle as a bipartite graph because you can draw the blue vertices over here. Oops, that's supposed to be blue. We will redo that. We will do blue vertices here, continuing down to the end, and over here we'll put all the yellow vertices down to the end. And let's take a look at our edges. So what's going to happen is, well maybe I'll label them so it's very clear. These are the odd, so these are 1, 3, 5, 
all the way up till n minus 1 because n is even. The evens are 2, 4, 6, all the way up to n. And what are the edges of our graph? Well, they go from 1 to 2 to th 3 and then to 4, 5 to 6, etc. And you keep going until you get to over here you'll be at n minus 2. Uh, whoops, the other way around. Over here you'll be at n minus 2 on this side. It's going to be an even vertex. And it's going to go to n minus 1, which goes to n. And where is our last edge? Well, it goes from n back to vertex 1, all the way up here. So now it should be very clear that, in fact, this coloring, or in fact, this partition that we've really done, when we say coloring, what we've really done is partition the vertices into these two sets. And this is a bipartite graph. So Cn is a bipartite graph graph with partite sets x and y, as we've defined up here, these x and y. So what this means is that if n is even, then the cycle on n vertices is bipartite. So that's just the first part, right? We've shown this direction, the fact that if n is even, then the cycle is bipartite. Now what we need to achieve is to say that if the cycle is bipartite, then n is even. So let's write that down. We want to show the other direction, that's the forward direction. We want to show that if Cn is bipartite, then n is even. And the way we will do this is by considering the contrapositive. And it's the contrapositive of a statement is equivalent to the actual statement. The statement says if the cycle is bipartite, then the number of vertices is even. The contrapositive states that if n is not even, then the cycle is not bipartite. Okay, well, if n is not even, that just means n is odd. So we want to show, we want to show that n odd implies cn not bipartite. So that's the point that we're trying to get across. This is what we need to prove now, that if n is odd, the cycle on an odd number of vertices, it's not bipartite. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use that same coloring technique. So let's go ahead and say, let n be odd, and cn is now the cycle with vertex labels 1, 2, 3, all the way up to n. But now remember that n is odd. Okay, so let's draw this cycle and put some vertices here. And it could be large, we don't know how large. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we continue. The last one was n, so this is n minus 1 and n minus 2. Okay, so we're going to use that same coloring technique where we have blue and yellow. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with any vertex and color it, the first color, which is blue. We look at its neighbors. We have to color those with yellow. Now we take a look at a vertex that's been colored. And it's useless to choose the one that's being colored blue because both of its neighbors are already colored. So we choose another vertex, such as this one, vertex 2. We have to color its neighbors in the opposite color, so that's blue. Let's look at vertex 3 now. Its neighbors have to be colored in the opposite color. That's going to be 3, uh, sorry, vertex 4 gets colored yellow. Then we continue and we have blue. And you can hopefully see that we must continue to color alternating blue and yellow. We alternate coloring vertices blue, and then yellow. Okay, well, what does that mean? 
it means that whenever we're going along here, all the vertices that are odd are getting blue colors. So odd labeled vertices, vertices are blue, and even labeled vertices are yellow. But what's going to happen is that eventually we're going to come along to here and we're going to say, okay, an odd labeled vertex, that's this one right here, because n is odd, so n minus 2 is odd, and it would have been colored blue if we just continue along in this cycle. And then its neighbor is going to be colored yellow. And now we're going to have this problem because when we look at n minus 1 and we have to color its neighbors with the opposite color, it means that we're supposed to color vertex n with a blue, but it's already been colored with a yellow. And so we run into this problem that vertex n is assigned both colors and both colors, and this is the contradiction. So we have run into a problem here. And we learned in a previous video that when you run into a problem, when you do this type of coloring, if, if you have a vertex that's assigned both colors, this tells you right away that the graph is not bipartite. And the graph is this cycle on CN. Remember, these are all of the edges. I didn't really draw them in, but we should remember what they are. They go all the way around like this. So that is, in fact, the proof. And it's quite useful if you want to get used to this idea to just do a couple of examples for yourself. So maybe if you draw the cycle on five vertices, like this, and you draw the cycle on four vertices like this, you can easily see the bipartition that happens here for the four vertices. And you can remember how to draw that where it sort of looks like a bipartite graph. Remember, it looks sort of like this. You would draw the edges going across from x to y, back to x, back to y, back to x, like that. So this would sort of clearly define your set x and your set y. But if you try to do the same thing over here, if you color this one blue, now you've got to go to the set Y. Now you've got to go to the set X. Now you've got to go to the set Y. Now you've got to go to the set X, and here's your problem, right? You're going to have to now color this vertex in color yellow. This is a big problem. This one is not bipartite. So on small examples, it should be very clear that these ones are bipartite and that these ones are not bipartite when the cycle is odd. So hopefully that makes sense and you can see the proof is done in general.